And I'm Dominic. Uh, first, you uh, you can see uh, house was uh, built on the triple axle trailer well you, we don't see it because we put some wood but uh and it's 28 feet long so it was a shell at the beginning that was made by uh, the company rewild homes so we bought the shell and we had this project of finishing the inside uh which was uh, a great adventure yeah so now uh we've finished everything we're proud to present it uh and we've built this little deck also because we wanted to have some uh, cover from the rain yeah cover from the, the rain but keeping the light too so um, that's what we ended up doing so this is our space mm. the space we live in it's 280 uh, square foot so with for the four of us so this is the family space here with the, the kitchen we wanted the kitchen to be um, big because we cook a lot we eat uh, homemade food mostly every day so I wanted to have a decent space for that and we've got lots of storage for uh, food especially because we live on an island we <laughs> we need to store a lot of things uh, because we don't get to go grocery shopping every day so we've got lots of space uh, down below here and we have well this one doesn't have that much space because there's the water heater which is a water heater yep. uh, propane water heater on demand it's a very uh, powerful unit that we wanted to put in because again we're four and the uh, water demand can be a lot if someone's showering while somebody else is washing the dishes it it works for everything so yeah so here we use the storage for just the I don't know random junk and kids, uh, kids. crafts and <laughs> stuff it's not super well organized but it works and we have enough um, we have very little dishes <laughs> because uh, because of space and anyways like we cannot have big gatherings in here so it works for the four of us and we've been up to what eight people yep. eight nine least, eating all yeah. at the same time but uh, no more than that yeah that's the the thing with tiny living uh, we have a big double sink here because there's no dishwasher so I wanted to have a nice space for cleaning dishes so it can dry in one and be washed in the other and it doesn't use up all the counter space which is great and I'm very happy, happy about that. Uh, we've got a propane uh, full range so with the stove and the four burners which is great. Um, it's, it's smaller than the usual ones so we ordered it specially for this because it's, it's all smaller but it works perfect for here and we really love it we have this fridge here that is a uh, um, french doors which is great because when you open it it doesn't um, it doesn't block the whole uh, passage here so it gives it, it's great and it it's very big it again like because we store a lot of foods when we go in town like we buy a lot and it works perfectly for our family of four we have extra storage here for all the glasses and extra storage for food. A big pantry here with the uh, uh, drawers that can hold a lot of things and more down there. And here uh, was supposed to be the washer dryer. <laughs> we didn't put one. Maybe I should turn on the lights. Yeah, we didn't put the washer dryer just because uh, we were lucky enough to have our landlords uh, providing that for us. So that gave us that extra space where we just put everything that doesn't have <laughs> another space. And it, we use it also, we use this table as storage for our computers, our books and things we need for work. Because Dominic works from the house here, so yeah. Bathroom again, we wanted to make it as big as possible because we're four, so it happens sometimes that the four of us can be in here brushing our teeth and trying to get ready to go. So shower is big, is 30 by 40, uh, glass doors, so it's easy to clean and it's uh, big enough for a kid and an adult or even two adults to go in at the same time, so it works. And yeah, this is a 
again enough storage space for whatever we need for bathroom things we've got the composting separate toilet that we really like so because we have this we don't need to be connected to any um, black water we don't need a septic we just produce gray water in the house here so that's great so it gives you more freedom on where you can put the house and here is our well when you live in a tiny house you really have to uh, um, limit uh, your wardrobe so we don't really have a problem with that it's not what we did before but it, it was the one of the reasons why we wanted to do this was to downsize and experience a more simple life and totally it does it because you kind of have no choice you have to really think about what you're getting and if you have a space for it and it's worked for us and we really like that aspect of tiny living yeah okay so this is uh we, because we're four uh, we had to come up with a solution uh, where are we all gonna sleep so the kids um, we thought the kids would be um, comfy upstairs and by so we decided we we design a Murphy bed and this is a special feature for us I'll show you how it works because you came all the way here and oh, <laughs> uh, we're, we're proud of this we said this table um, was on a design by Anna White, who's also building tiny houses in Alaska, Alaska, and uh, she she had this model. So we just we just went online and checked it, and um, we built it. We added a, a little something. We uh, oh, that we can work we have to push this yeah, a little bit. Just so you you basically you can uh, you flip the table and you get a different size and it just fits back. So every night. Is, yep. So what we what we thought would be uh, great, it would be um, a perfect uh, um, just set up for the Murphy, just the base. So came out pretty good. It's same height. You can just up, put this, and then we go down. We have this little thing that we kept that we like to use. Yep. And then. Yep. So every night we uh, that's where we sleep, and it's tiny house is so slim that you can touch the the door, and you can see the stars also. Uh, we yeah, have on a, both sides. On both sides, yeah, uh, and it's wonderful. Stars. Yeah. So and here is our electric panel. It's hidden here, so it's very useful if we need to uh, to access it. So this is our uh, just a quick peek. Uh, this is where we keep our pillows. Yeah, pillows and uh, um, curtains for this, <laughs> temporary curtains. And this is also space for kids. Extra kids. <laughs> because kids, they like board games. It's better to uh, put things that you don't use too often uh, in spaces uh, that are not not that easy to access. Just so. Uh, yeah, and that's we also why in the storage that. space up there, Dominic puts his uh, music instruments, so they're safe. No one will uh, damage them, yeah, and they're little. they're easy to access for him. He just can stand on it and grab them, but yeah, they're safe. It's our little storage loft, as yeah. we see in some. Uh, a lot of the tiny houses will do two lofts, but we really didn't want to okay. sleep in a loft because uh, I'm a bit claustrophobic, so I don't like the the enclosed yeah. space oh, so that, that was a good option for yeah. us and we're very there happy we with the, the choice we made not to it's not to fun. sleep in a loft yeah. we have a little uh, extra chair there for a, a more comfortable seating but uh yeah that does a nice couch it's a seating area for eating it's a couch it's uh, yeah so it gives us enough space to sit and because this is in half like we have two or three depending on the size of the people or if it's kids or adults there and then an extra there and then we can sit three people so that's why like depending on how we organize things we can sit quite a few people and eat together or just have tea or yeah yeah, yeah. and that's one thing we like about this tiny house too is the, the fact that we have a table we see in some tiny house just a like a piece of wood that you would take down a bit like an rv sometime you have a little table that you but or for a lot us, of tiny houses have just like 
countertop eating and but yeah. we really like to sit together as a family for each meal so it was really important for us to be able to sit around the table and not like in a lineup because a, a lot of tiny houses will have like bars but we didn't want that we wanted to be able to sit around the table and have a conversation so that was a uh, very important for us and it worked right yeah yeah do you want to show your bedroom that um, her bed is a mattress that splits in three sections so she only needs one section of it because she's small but if she, she, she was to grow we could add the net another section and then a third one Huba uses all of it so Huba's bed is really a twin size regular twin size um, yeah uh, we chose to live in a tiny house because we um we needed to find a strategy to stay one more year in BC. <laughs> uh, we did a house exchange uh, last year and during that exchange we came here on Denman Island and we really enjoyed it and it was almost the end of our one year and we decided we could stay one more year. It's great, <laughs> uh, but we need to find a way. So we talked with land, um, um, land owners and and we, with both Glenn and Heather, we decided we would uh, we could put something here, and then we came up with this idea that it would it could be a, a tiny house on wheels, because then we could um, it could be moved, right? Mm -hmm. So, and we had this uh, idea, and I had this uh, dream also of uh, building a tiny house, not starting from scratch, but you know with a solid uh, trailer and. Uh, the outside uh, we found we found some people that could help us and it all came out like this that's why we wanted to stay and we found some people and we decided yeah we can uh, we can manage this we can try this and um, that was the start yeah so that was our reason and we wanted to see what how it is to live in a, uh, it's a also tiny because house. Yeah, and Dominic for, for many years had been interested in uh, reducing and trying to not have too many things and trying to really keep it down and it was always something he was interested in, like trying to live more simply and I, I was too, but I just thought, like, oh, can we do this with children? And I was not as uh, convinced as him, but I thought like because we wanted to do this temporarily i thought we'll try and you can't lose much we're gonna see if it works and and it, it, it works <laughs> so that's great what do you like the what benefits. are the benefits what do you like about living in a tiny that it's small <laughs> that we have a bunch of toys and comfy beds I think one of the benefits is that they play outside more <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and it was one of the reasons too we thought like if we live in a space like that because we stayed in, we wanted to stay in BC we're from Quebec and we wanted to stay in BC so that we would enjoy the outdoors a little more and that's why we're here it's the, mainly because of nature and the beauty and we wanted to to really um, experience it more and I wanted to, for the kids to get a chance to just be free and run around and enjoy all that and I think tiny living um, is it's all about that because you're gonna spend a lot more time outside than in than we would do in in, in our previous lives mm -hmm. and if you're in a bigger house it takes more time to it takes more time to um, to clean and just to <laughs> to organize and you spend a lot more time doing that than you would spend time outside so I think that's been a great benefit is that um, we did spend a lot more time outside this year than in all the previous years in our lives <laughs> so that was great mm -hmm. yeah. yeah also I find that uh, that you have less because you have less things it just makes things more simple because I remember in our previous life in Quebec like sorting out the clothes and with the seasons also which added but uh, I felt like I was always overwhelmed by all these possessions and right now like 
yeah, three pair of pants each. <laughs> I wash them every three days, and it just it's mm -hmm. it's very simple. We all have like this much clothes, so it's it doesn't take a long time to to organize. And when I need to clean the house, I just send them outside. It's gonna take me maximum thirty minutes, and I'll it'll be very clean. <laughs> so that's one of the benefits also I find of living in a tiny house. Challenges of living in a tiny house. I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, having to sleep in the same room as my sister. <laughs> and how about you, Lydia? Mm. The challenge of living in a tiny house? And having to sleep in a small space. I would say, for me, one of the uh, main challenges is um, there's you know, there's always that time of the day, like especially after dinner, <laughs> when everybody gets tired and I feel like it's the time of the day that I want a little bit of personal space and you don't have it and then I look forward to kids sleeping so that's always that part of the day I find challenging something that makes me sad sometimes is that we can't have big gatherings like I mm. miss like inviting a lot of people and I miss uh, I don't know those big dinners and big gatherings and it's something you can't really do and I also we have a lot of family and friends that would like to come and visit us from out east and it's something that it's it's a bit harder because we don't have a, a, any room for them so so yeah the fact that you're you can't open the doors and say hey everybody come on in so it's it's that's one of the well, main challenges for me i think it's the same for me it's uh, the fact mostly the fact that we cannot have the space for big gathering is one always something like oh we'd like but we do um we we do something else we we like we have to deal with what we have here uh some people think it's a, a very very small space like lydia was saying the space i, I know because we were talking this morning about the roof like uh, she was saying like you can't just get up in your room and jump right so at least we can do that outside but um, of course, it is a small space. But you know, I was thinking space. It also depends on uh, what people um, feel like. Uh, for us, we feel like we have plenty of uh, head space, at least here. <laughs> and then, yeah, we. I think we've we came up with a design that we are. Uh, the fact that we designed it, uh, maybe it satisfy our needs. So we don't feel too. Um, uh, all together uh, on each other except as Marie said <laughs> at some point in the day and all the people that have kids knows that they know that um, after dinner or something we just send the kid outside but if we can yeah. sometimes the parents it, they go outside <laughs> yeah. for a walk yeah so I, I'd say like winter time and it can get a little long when the days are short because right now it's okay because the after dinner time we can just send them back outside to play so that's fine but in the winter time when it's really dark especially that we're there's no lights here if it's dark it's dark so you can't just send them back out and play in the rain in the dark like it's you'll keep them in and that yeah that's the challenge for me it's really the those couple hours like before they get they go they fall asleep that mm -hmm. I, sometimes i find long yeah but other than that building this house costs a lot more than we thought mm -hmm. <laughs> and i think it's a it's a lure that people it, there's always these ideas that circulate on the web oh this guy built this tiny house for 10 or 20k and it's like it, it I don't know I, I feel like there's this myth or a false idea that circulates that tiny houses are cheap but they're nothing but cheap like the the square footage wise like they're much more expensive because you don't have any empty space like all your space is kitchen bathroom and all the expensive things mm -hmm. plus like a lot of the things we bought are like uh, the, like the stove or the fridge like there's specific things that um like were a specific size because at first we thought oh maybe we could buy some a few things God. that would be second hand but they wouldn't fit the space and we want things that we wanted something nice because when we built it we knew we w were going to sell it the year after so we want it to be a nice product also not just the uh, we didn't build it we built it for ourselves but knowing it wouldn't be ours forever so we wanted to like you, there's different ways you can go but we wanted to go for um 
like a higher end market maybe or just mm -hmm. something more mm -hmm. luxurious so we didn't cut down on anything there there's a heat pump in here there is a, like as i said all the pl the appliances that are very nice appliances that were new mm -hmm. the the water heater is the best you can get we uh, have air exchanger also we have ex air we have exchanger Lunas Lunas that are very yeah. useful for us but yeah they're they're a lot more expensive than you'd think <laughs> and that's what we discovered uh, yeah, I would say you need also you you really need to think about a good trailer, and we read that everywhere. But still, people like start with a very bad foundation. Uh, so I would say like you, it's a must. Like for us, it's a triple axle, as I was saying, and you can shop it. It's 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 always going to be between nine and twelve k. Or even so, more people than who that. think oh yeah or more yeah, and so. So people who say, "Oh, I can build that myself for um, for 15k," well, the, the, trailer, the trailer here <laughs> is 12k. Mm -hmm. So your foundation is like, for us, it's like top of the line trailer, and that's what we wanted because it's if this is gonna last, uh, the trailer will be a, like a big part of it, <laughs> the quality mm -hmm. of the, the house. Yeah. Most important advice I would give someone: just know what you're getting into, and know it's it's gonna take more time and more money than you mm -hmm. thought. And um, yeah, just try to try to be prepared. It's just like a house, but very small. Uh, I'm I, I'm saying that because you have to buy everything that's in a house, um, every yeah. furniture, everything, and um, so you have to design like, uh, or you can buy it also um, brand new. But in our case. Um, we need to think about where everyone's going to be in an extra bed, Murphy bed and everything. But um, yeah, I would say think ahead and yeah. as best as you can plan it. And then don't be afraid to uh, to put the money maybe also because you'll, you'll be you'll be satisfied if you have something great. If you we heard a lot of people starting and not finishing it also. So a great team <laughs> um, having mm -hmm. the money or a way to find it. Uh, you want something solid and that please you. Personal philosophy on life. Uh, live in the now as much as possible. Like just try to. It's hard. Like that's what we hear all the time. Like be in the moment. But I think it's so important and trying to seize the the moment. Be open minded to opportunities that are offered to you. Uh, relationships, people mm. you meet that are gonna change your path and just. Like be aware of all that. Make some space for the rest and play with the kids, uh, and just rest and play also in your life. It doesn't mean you can't you can't have a, a decent uh, job that you love, and uh, but um, yeah, just finding a way to uh, get into that day to day like uh, little pleasure, yeah, and be grateful for that, and just wait for the next day and. And that doesn't mean it's easy. <laughs> it's part of our life philosophy, trying to give more time to the things that are more important to us and try to... And I think living on Denman Island is the perfect place also to uh, let the fast pace of city life like not absorb you because that's how we feel most of the time like if you in our life back in back east like you feel absorbed by that rhythm and it, it drives you and i feel like here we we get more control we get more control of how we how we let our life uh, go yeah. so